Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC has been asked to investigate the ownership of a 40 billion naira world class hotel project allegedly being bankrolled by the Ebony State Governor Dave Umahi. The gigantic edifice with a rooftop swimming pool and a presidential penthouse as one of its many special features is located at number three on Laka Street off Abacha Road, GRA, Port Harcourt, River State. <laughs> In a statement signed by its president, Ambassador Pascal Oluchuku, Oluchuku, a group association of Ebony State Indigenous in Diaspora called on the EFCC and other anti graft agencies to begin to gather facts and evidence on the ownership of the multi billion naira structure. According to the group, the call became necessary due to the silence of the governor on allegations linking him to the ownership of the project. The group also expressed shock at the recalcitrant posture of Governor Humayi in dispelling the weighty allegations connecting him to La Husband Palm Hotel, named after Osborne Umahi, being built in Port Harcourt since images of the building went viral on the social media. Our position on this revelation is that Governor Umayi must speak on these monumental allegations within at least 24 hours and the anti graft agencies should begin to gather their facts and evidences are right and await the days of reckoning, knowing that immunity protects him from being prosecuted by the Nigerian government even at this point, the group insisted. It further expressed again at the misappropriation of the state resources despite the unenviable un un position occupied by Ebony as one of the poorest states in the country. The statement said the fact that the said hotel project started just in 2016 is even more worrisome for the indigenous of a state like Ebony where endemic and anthropogenic poverty is the order of the day. Having been accurately ranked the poorest state in the entire southern Nigeria and the third poorest among the 36 states of the Nigerian Federation, the Ebony Good Governance and Accountability Platform also called on the River State Governor to wade into the matter by revoking ownership of the land where the hotel is being built if Governor Humayi fails to respond to the allegations. This is as the group added that we believe it should be wisdom for Governor Wiki to revoke the land where the said hotel is situated, especially if Humayi fails to open up on these weighty allegations against his person. On insecurity in the state, the renowned social engineering group expressed worries that political actors group express political actor group uh, express worries that political actors have continued to hit up the polity by dispensing mindless violence, killing and maiming innocents and helpless ebonians, particularly those in opposition parties. To this end, it called on the police and all heads of intelligence security agencies to uncover and nip these killings in the board and bring all perpetrators of the attacks to book, no matter how highly placed they may be. Hmm. Well, for people that will be hearing this whole thing, oh, somebody built this, somebody built that, hmm. frustration is just all over the place in the sense that even when you know that these things are true, frustration that will come after this is that what will be done at the end of the day, especially when the person you are talking about is on, you know, it's on, it's in the good book of uh, the power that be, they will sweep everything under the carpet. At least the one that is glaring to us, the issue of a bullion van up to today, what happened? Nothing. They will sweep it under the carpet. They say, I beg you, forget them. All these angry people led. By the time they shout, they are tired. They will be, they will, they will forget. They will shout, shout. If nobody answer them, they will be tired. So it is, if, if, it is frustrating. Honestly, it is really, really frustrating. It is what it is. All of those things are there. But how do you, what do you do? Because right from top from top to bottom they know all of this is and again calling on wiki <laughs> that is a joke taking too far calling on wiki to do what i don't even get you know all of this is a wishful thinking those are the things that are supposed to be but just like they said you know of course it's 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 covered 
with immunity. Nothing will be done, but let it be kept. But at the end of the day, just like uh, Uzo, Uzo, uh, Uzo Jikalu, the same case, they drag the case, drag, 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 drag. He does not have head, he does not have tea. We don't even know where the case is now. So, Nigeria case is a sorry one. All of them, oh, you are calling on Wiki, all of them, who, who among them is clean? It's normal thing that they do. And it's normal thing for Nigerians to, be, to continue to suffer. Uh -huh, it's just a survival of the fittest, the one that will just manage, manage, manage by, by, by fire, by force, just manage. What's the percentage? You'll just be getting little, little things. You know, if inside the, you know, out of this whole mess, you know, it's a, the state at which you have the sorry state. You can imagine. All of them, they will be claiming that they, they, they were, even before their parents conceived, their mother conceived them, they will tell you that they were billionaires. Ask all these politicians, what kind of business do they do that give that gives them this kind of wealth they always amass? Some people, they don't, please, they don't talk to him. Or, you will see some people that are suffering. People that uh, they cannot even feed themselves. People that will still go around and be begging money. They will say, I beg, leave him. Leave him alone. Leave all of them. Leave them alone. What is your problem? You are going to be hearing now. Let's go and hear what Nigerians will be saying concerning this. It's, a frustra you know, it's, it's very, very frustrating. The frustration is just there because it, you see that they will tell you, oh, it's dead on arrival. Who is going to, who is going to uh, uh, judge who? Well, how rich is a boy in state for one person to embezzle 40 billion naira and still have massive infrastructural development as a landmark? The envy of Igbos among themselves have no equal. <laughs> David Umayi remains one of the best and brightest in Nigeria policies of today. Hmm. Someone say, Ebony is rich. If you don't know, know it now. Take a look at the quarry industry, how much it generates to the state government. Cash truck pays between 7,000 to 10,000 before leaving the site. Calculate how many trucks that leaves a boy every day, then multiply it. You see something that will surprise you. Forget it, Umayi is a selfish governor. We are suffering here in a boy state. Why is feeding fat on the state? resources the same uh Uma, you told us that uh, at the age of 21 he was already a millionaire that was what he told us well i told you some people were making excuses for him hmm. forget it oh um, uh Uma is selfish what has he as what has Igbo uh, got to do with this that is what somebody is asking you will go to the same yoruba too they will tell you ah they are jealous of it. Oh, they are jealous of it. Who is it? Who is another person there? Oh, they are jealous of this person. They are jealous. Of oh, go to the go to the south south. Oh, they are jealous of this person. Oh, because you have not been able to achieve this. Oh, leave him alone. They will go to the Oh, leave him alone. Leave him. Alone. It is. It is not the same thing. So we have a as we have a all those a principalities and demons that are troubling the lives of the people across. But you still have a. There are legions of demons that are working for them that will still be supporting them. You know, it is not a it's not a surprising thing, honestly. Well, that is why he ran out from PDP to APC just to have us being investigated when he leaves office. Hmm. You are a bigger size of fool. What Igbo got to do with this? I don't know. The people in diaspora they are calling association. They didn't associate themselves with this and say Igbo. I don't understand. That man is a big thief. I guess he was moving to APC for the cover up, not because of precedent. Um, diversionary tactics at play. What has other Igbos got to do with this matter? Who might keep stealing a boy blind? Why at the same time mortgaging their entire future by piling up huge debts at the Islamic bank just for their unborn children? Is it the Igbos that made a boy the biggest pool of street street workers in Nigeria? Who might can at least change that by creating jobs at home. The statistics from MBS in, on a boy state is instructive or is Humayi as governor not seeing or reading them. So guys, uh, you know, a lot of people will be saying their mind. Just like I said, some people are just there to defend him. All this because he has shown interest in becoming the president. Come forward with concrete facts if you have any. If you, someone say, okay, if you are in a boy state, you wouldn't have responded that way. Presidency or not, must he get everything wrong? Is a bad man, greedy, selfish, deadly, and deceitful. Imagine. Okay, that is you. That is that is why you are Mumu to the highest order. Please shut up. 
you don't know anything at all but sooner or later your eyes will be open there are so people that will just making excuses for them i don't understand you know who among them that will not dip their hands inside the cookie jar among them you know because they always get away 90 there's 99 percent chances of them getting away with all this thing. so nigerians will shout even if you if some people we have a civil society that will that will see take them up but by the time they get to court again it's a different ball game entirely so guys let us hear your opinion and leave your comments in the comment section thank you